Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful morning here in the end times in Paradise in Garfield, Texas on this beautiful sunny Thursday morning, April 5th, 2018. I think we're up to and uh, so since I do not have the stomach, literally, to bring you a dump the Trump the high roundup rant. I'm not sure I'm ever gonna have the stomach to uh, bring you another dump the Trump the high roundup rant. Uh, you know, until that fat ass motherfucker is out of there by whatever means necessary, uh, whatever excuse from porn stars to Vladimir Putin. I don't give a fuck. I want that fat ass motherfucker out of my life. So uh, as part of that, I will probably uh, just wind up these goddamn dump the Trump de high roundup rants until the guy comes up with something so fucking outlandish. But anyway, enough of that motherfucker. So since it is Thursday morning, uh, I cannot think of a more beautiful day than to bring you my weekly depressed collapsitarian wine, which I will make fairly short, guys, uh, I think. E e e you know, I, I really was starting to feel a little bit better uh, a few days ago. I had some friends come over for a beautiful... Do, do you, I guess you have fleas. I guess the dog has fleas. He's just being a nervous little Nelly. We gotta get you some more flea medicine. Uh, so anyway, guys, I really felt like I was turning a corner on Sunday when some friends came over for Easter and we were out here playing music, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, <clears throat> my new friends, tribes members, <clears throat> uh, Lisa, and Jim from uh, the real Paradise, Texas, came down here on Tuesday. We had a fine dinner of homemade chicken enchiladas, a fine day here in Garfield with some of my fellow Texan, uh, with some of my fellow Texan tribes members. Look forward to meeting up with them again. And, uh, God damn. You know, this is the first time, I guess, that Sancho has had fleas. Well, I made it to April. Got to go deal with my little flea bag now. So anyway, I, I was actually starting to, uh, to I, I would never use the word hopeful, but I just wasn't totally depressed. And then I got up yesterday morning, and my entire fucking little ham bone world went back to hell again. I... I mentioned in my uh, in my whine last week how I could never be taken seriously uh, by by any serious scientist or professor or whatever going around with the goddamn name Hambone Little Tail from Humpty Dumpty Tribe. <clears throat> so as I may have mentioned, what I did right after that, right after that whine. I just decided I'm going to try something new, and, and I, I'm going to write to a couple of these uh, biologists, ecologists kind of people, and just not use the name Hambone Little Tail. Just call myself Sam Mitchell, and just not mention the name of my of my uh, YouTube channel, because I'm actually, or at least until yesterday I uh, was thinking of, of, of actually starting a new YouTube channel called something like Voices from the Anthropocene where it was just going to be Sam Mitchell. All it was going to be was Sam Mitchell, former journalist, you know, interviewing people and reading essays from uh, other people, uh, you know, talking about the collapse of this planet. and. You just make, I don't know why you're making me so nervous. You're just making me nervous. I'm just, I'm just in a nervous Nelly today. So anyway, so what I did, right after that whine, I went in and sent uh, emails to two 
uh, biologists, one right here uh, on, in Austin, Texas, in the University of Texas. I'm not going to share this man's name. Uh, we'll just call him Dr. Doom. That's really what he's affectionately known around the campus here at UT is Dr. Doom. He is this professor. He's been there for 50 years uh, at, at University of Texas trying to pull people's heads out of their asses. So I emailed him and, and we set up an interview for yesterday. So uh, I was very excited. He was actually going to Doctor Doom was going to be the lead off uh, was going to be the lead off uh, person that I was having a casual conversation with on my new channel. So uh, of course he wanted to meet at nine o'clock in the fucking morning. So I have to get up at the goddamn crack of dawn, fight all that fucking traffic going into, it's the first time I've driven into Austin, Texas, 17 days, had to pay nine dollars, nine fucking dollars to park my gas sucking truck at UT's parking garage for visitors, nine dollars it cost me to uh, go interview this fellow. <clears throat> so I go in and sit down with Dr. Doom and we have what I consider to be a, a, a pretty good casual conversation. The two of us sat down and, and, and had a, a conversation about the collapse of the planet and I was feeling pretty good about the, uh, about the interview and so anyway, it, it, you know, it's an hour-long interview, and I say, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling fine about everything. <clears throat> and remember, this guy has never heard the name Hambone Little Tail or Humpty Dumpty Tribe. He is talking to some guy, some former journalist at least, <clears throat> uh, with an unnamed Sam Mitchell with some unnamed YouTube channel. Uh... So I have this conversation with Dr. Doom and I'm, and I'm packing up my stuff and uh, he's getting ready to go to lunch or whatever. So I'm, I'm literally walking out the door when the guy stops me. We, we'd already shaken hands, I'd already said goodbye and the guy stops me right literally when I'm stepping out the door and just starts lighting into me I, I, I mean, politely enough, I guess, politely and diplomatically enough, I, you understand this guy is, is an old curmudgeon. He's just about to turn 80 years old. Uh, he, he is this old curmudgeon named Dr. Doom, and I stop and go, yeah, and, and, uh, and the guy just rips me a new asshole just rips me a new asshole uh, about basically, you know, basically saying probably correctly that I am, uh, I am an arrogant asshole uh, as, as he was. It was a, you understand, it was a, a casual conversation between two egotistical, arrogant, asshole doomers. So he basically lets me know he thinks I'm an egotistical, arrogant asshole and essentially tells me in so many words that that was the single worst interview that he has ever had to endure. And that was his goodbye to me. And I mean, I didn't really know what to say. Because, as you may or may not know about me, uh, you know, I have five years of uh, journalism training. Uh, five years of journalism school, then I spent seven years as a freelance journalist, as a freelance writer and reporter, and I worked for two years as the news editor of a, uh, the weekly newspaper in Santa Cruz, California. I have actually written two books, one of them published, one of them sitting there on Lulu. I have had published 
hundreds, I would say thousands, that uh, Sam Mitchell, a uh, former journalist, has had thousands of, uh, of uh, articles published in, in various newspapers, magazines all around the country. I know that I have interviewed I know that I have interviewed minimally in my life uh, probably 3,000 people. I think Dr. Doom, he was maybe maybe the 20th, where am I up to on these interviews, 20 or 25 interviews. Uh, so anyone who's, I think you basically know my interviewing style. And as I made clear to Dr. Doom, and, and, and as I made clear to all of these people, and uh, that what I'm doing, especially here on, on YouTube, is not just what's a standard journalist to subject interview with a, with, with a, you know, with a very formal set of questions addressing one specific topic. Normally how, what a journalist is doing when they're interviewing somebody is they already have a thesis in their, they're writing an article about a subject and then they interview various experts who know something about this subject to flesh out the thesis of the article. Well, this is not what I'm doing on, uh, on, on, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe or my new YouTube channel, but apparently Dr. Doom did not understand that, that what I do is walk in there fairly unprepared on purpose and basically just say, uh, you know, are we fucked? and then just have a conversation whether or not we're fucked. And so anyway, apparently the, 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 this fellow was very unhappy with uh, the interview and with Hamba and Littletail's uh, uh, interviewing skills. After I had thought I had made it clear to him this was not an interview, this was a conversation between two people. Uh, but anyway, I, I have never been so, just just reamed a new asshole out of out of how many thousands of people have I interviewed in my life? I have never just been fucking skinned, flayed, uh, eviscerated by this uh, by by this person. And uh, I mean, what could I say? What could I say to the fucker? Uh, I, I just said, I, I appreciate your brutal honesty about my interviewing skills, and I will try to make sure in the future that the people I talk to understand, as apparently you did not, that we are having a casual conversation about the collapse of a planet. So I'm going to be interviewing uh, biologist uh, Thomas Lovejoy tomorrow morning. And, and I'm just going to ask Tom, it's your choice. I, I, will let, I will let Tom choose tomorrow. But anyway, so I was thinking, fuck. You know, the guy obviously didn't want me to run the interview. So then, so what do I do? I take the uh, I, I, I take the the uh, video card from my camera and put it into this piece of shit dying computer, and the uh, and, and I went to upload the the interview, you know, onto YouTube, and, and guess what? It, it says I'm getting all of this these error messages that the file is corrupted and they can't read the file and all of this goddamn shit. Uh, so the universe apparently agreeing with Dr. Doom for whatever reason that we will never be having this interview or this casual conversation. So I've got the, 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 the my computer geek uh, is, is 
I don't know what kind of planet eating we have cranking up here today. So anyway, my computer geek is uh, is trying to, he thinks there's a small chance that we can still save the audio off the uh, SD card. And so my SD card is in the hospital. All right, we got some serious planet nibbling, cranking up. What the hell is going on here? So anyway, guys, uh, but it's just weird. I, I, I mean, after going through that shit from this guy, it just, it, it, it's just like, it, it, it just completely fucking deflated me. It, you know, it's just one more little whisper from the universe, one more little omen from the universe, both his, both his tirade uh, against Hambone, or well, I'm sorry, against Sam Mitchell, uh, what, what a fuck up Sam Mitchell is, and has no business interviewing people. Uh, and then, and then just having my computer fuck up. So uh, I'm now shopping for a new goddamn computer, getting ready to spend another 200, 300 fucking dollars uh, on getting a new computer so I can keep on doing this. And, and I've just completely fucking collapsed again today just completely fucking collapsed. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty much run out of steam on all of this, uh, on all of this horse shit. So anyway, I have, uh, I'm gonna go set my, my chair out in my garden while listening to these fucking planet eaters chewing up paradise. So I have Henry Miller, Moloch, this this gentle world versus Kurt Vonnegut, a man without a country. So I'm gonna wrap up uh, this YouTube shit for another day and uh, read a little bit of Henry Miller and Kurt Vonnegut to get a a uh, a what a dose hopefully of reality and. and uh, hang up the Humpty Dumpty tribe ship for the day unless I find I notice that I have 5,099 subscribers so in 10 days I've got 99 new subscribers and we all know what that means but I will save that for a later rant for this week's depressed collapsitarian this is your old depressed, collapsitarian, failed journalist, Sam Hambone Littletail Mitchell, saying, we're so fucked. Why do I do this shit? Bye, guys.